Hey everybody, I'm Mary and this is my simple cottage life. Okay, I have had over the last three years many, many comments of people saying, why don't you sell that rental property and you can fix your cottage up however you want it and live off that property for the rest of your life. Well, today I'm going to show you one of the reasons why. Here's my house, my little cottage. Here's my porch that I recently had built. Okay, so let's walk. There's my tenant house, my rent property. Here's the driveway. This driveway is shared. There's one entrance to this driveway. Hear that crunchy leaves? We haven't had sufficient rain in a good while. Okay, so here's the driveway. And it splits right here and it runs to my house up there. It's a circle drive. There's no way I can split this property. No way. If I put a fence right down through here, this driveway comes over here. And my driveway's there. There's no way that I can split this property. I can't come this way with, a, say, a fence or a property line because then this, this driveway here, I, my, it, all this is shared right here. This area is shared. This is the tenant's driveway, and that's my driveway. There's no way, there's no way. And so that is the main reason why I can't do this. I know it seems really simple, but it isn't. I can't do it. Look at their car. That's where they park their truck. Ooh, that thing's leaking oil, isn't it? That's not long for this world. Here's the screen door they destroyed. I know I've already shown you all that. Oh yeah, they just, they just destroyed that door. It's a mess and a half, isn't it? Anyway, that's the reason. That's why I cannot sell this house. Let's go in. I'll show you what I did today. It honestly doesn't look like I've done anything. Had ants all down here. I put seven dust out. This is where her couch was. Right in here. Right across here. This is where her feet, where she sat on her couch. This big old awful couch she had and her feet were right here all the time. 
That's where she sat to watch TV. Look at that. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Come in. Hi, baby. Yeah, come on in. And that's where he sat. He had this hideous recliner. It was giant. And it had camouflage material on, oh, it's hideous. That's where his feet were. <laughs> oh, Lord. So, okay, so today I have cleaned on the stove. I still can't get it back to where it was. That's got a film. I'll have to, it's going to take me several wipings to get that off. I worked on the inside of it, and I've got spray cleaner on that part of it, but I worked on the door. Down here is where I found popcorn, popped popcorn, almost full of popcorn. No wonder she had roaches. I want you to look at this down here. Now, y'all, I have scrubbed this already with Clorox, but I'm going to have to get a, a steel wool and scrub this. First of all, there's food running down these cabinets, food. Look at that nastiness right there. I mean, all the way across, she stood here and fixed her food. Filthy, 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 filthy. And I don't know what that is down there. I don't know. It will come up, but I'm going to have to scrub the heck out of it to get it up. That is absolutely filthy. The stove is still filthy. All back here, you can see. You see the grease now? See that? Yeah. I worked on the microwave. It was really, really nasty. She claims she never used the microwave. Looks like she's drop something all the way to the floor from the cabinet to where the trash would be over there. Something spilled all over the place. This is the window that I want to put the air conditioner in. I'm slowly but surely getting uh, trash out of here. I have not done anything in the back rooms yet. Hi, kitty. I got to get rid of that old big TV. Nobody's going to want it. Oh, more bottles. Well, surprise, surprise, surprise. I'm shocked. So, so anyway, it doesn't look like I've done anything, but y'all, I have scrubbed the heck out of this stove and tried to fix the sink. There's nothing I can do, look at it. it it's, she used uh, oven cleaner on this stove and it's, I mean on this sink and it's just as pitted you can feel. It's not smooth anymore, it's pitted. And obviously she laid something up here to scrub it. I'm kind of shocked at that, that she scrubbed anything. <laughs> really am. All right, so that's it. Everything is a mess, everything. I mean, look, how did they do this? How in the world did they manage to crack that? It's not even in their way. I don't know, I don't know. It is a dilemma. There's the kitty. She lays out there on that step, it's cooler out there. So hopefully Jared will get here and get this air conditioner going and get those trees done. There's my pile of curtains I have to take home and wash. See why I'm overwhelmed, y'all? I sure am. Okay, just wanted to show you the one of the reasons, one of the main reasons why I cannot sell this house. I don't have a division, a land division. There's not an easy way to do it. See, there's my house up there. I don't have an easy way to divide.
There's no way. So people say to me, did you, did you think about maybe selling your house? Oh, yes. I have thought about it many, many times. And I have answered that question many, many times. I'm not going to sell this house. I can't. I don't even know how to express how excited I am about this beautiful morning. Oh, y'all, it is so cool. There's a wonderful breeze out here. I, I know it's gonna get hot this afternoon, but I don't think it's gonna get as hot as it has been lately. We still need rain. Oh yes, we desperately need rain. Every morning I get a notice on my phone about the dangers of fires in this area. And yet every single day I hear a fire truck running, going down the road. So people are still burning and they're not supposed to be. We are under a burn ban. And some cuckoo bird is out there burning trash or something, some kind of stuff that puts everybody in danger, not only his home and his family, but other people as well. So I have one more reason. I won't, Wait, let me show you this first. This is the cutest. Wait for it, wait for it. Ah, my ginger. My beautiful ginger curled up in that. Doesn't he look beautiful against the roses, y'all? Isn't he so pretty? I love that boy. And right over here, my LG, my mighty warrior. Why, he looks lovely against the roses. Here's Moki, Moki Mo. She loves to come up and lay down. She wants me to rub her betty. You want me to rub her betty, I will. Cause she that beautiful, that's why. She is beautiful. Okay. So I have another reason why I can't get rid of the house, or why I can't sell that house over there besides the fact that uh, we share a driveway. We also share a water meter. So there's one water meter out there to get another water meter, and I think, y'all, it cost $1,000 just to have it installed out there on the service line, the property line. And then you're responsible for having someone come and dig a trench and lay a line all the way up to under my house and connect it to my water line. And I have no clue what the cost of that would be, but it's out of my range, and that's for sure. There's that Moki. Beautiful Moki. Get them, Moki Mo. I love my babies. And what's a beautiful beautiful day and they didn't finish the air conditioner yesterday they're coming back today to do that and they're also going to do the trees the trees and then i p take pictures of them and send them to my insurance man and he says you're good to go mary so i feel good about that and i'm in a better mood today i, I still have to go down brian's this afternoon and do some uh the floors and a little bit of the laundry left. But I'll get that done. And then, y'all, I think I'm off next week. I don't think I have to work next week. So you know where I'm going to be, don't you? Well, I'm not going to be out here in my beautiful garden enjoying the the, uh, the fall air. I'm going to be next door. And I thank you all so much for your support, your encouraging words. And I also thank you all for going to Carol's uh, channel, uh, Plain Vanilla Grandma is the name. And y'all went over there. You showed her some love and kindness by subscribing to her channel, and that made her so happy. And I'm glad to hear it. So thank you so much for that. Um, she's gained quite a few subscribers from y'all. That's great. You're 
You're so great. You're so kind, so loving. Anyway, I'm going to quit being gushy. I got to get to work, and I hope y'all have a great day. Oh, and I hope God is good to you. Bye-bye.